Hi, I'm Felda Blythe, your local Hellenic polytheist and also Greek myth lover. So if you are one of those things, stick around. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a bit different than what I usually do. I am going to be having an AI retell Greek myth. Now, how I am going to do that, you might be wondering. Well, there's this wonderful app called AI Dungeon, and I will be sharing that on my screen here. And I had people submit to me their most chaotic unhinged Greek myths. So what AI Dungeon does, I'm not entirely sure the uh, intricacies of it. I'm not a computer engineer, although I do know a bit about programming. But it basically reads stuff, so in this case stories, specifically various types of genres of stories, it's fed these and then it kind of uses that to create almost a predictable text of what it thinks would come next in those contexts. It sounds kind of bizarre, but if you've ever seen those, I wrote a blah 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 with AI, that's how it functions essentially. Now what's interesting about AI Dungeon is it's specifically about creating stories and um, it's scarily good. Yeah, so as you can see on this web page, you can like co do collaborative stuff with people. Pick your medieval waifu. Anyway, so I'm going to click play and then I'm going to do quick start custom setting. I'm doing a custom setting. I'm going to type in the initial description of what it is. So that way it starts getting that in its mind. Otherwise it'll randomly start me as like, you are a knight in the town of Lothraean. Enter a prompt that describes who you are in the first couple of sentences of where you started. So we're going to switch to story mode to avoid unintended changes to your prompt. So there are a couple different modes here. There's story, which is kind of writing like, you are a knight in the kingdom of Larian. You are hunting the evil dragon who has been terrorizing the kingdom. Do is then you say like, what do you do? So it'll give you a prompt and you can say, I do this. So you have to, it's all first person slash second person. Say, so that's like what your character says, obviously. And that's first in my myths. I'm going to try Eris and the Golden Apple. Now, that's not obscure, but it's a specific enough tale that I'm hoping it'll be fun. You are Eris. So, okay, we're already starting this story strangely. Okay, you are Eris. You find out that every god has been invited to the wedding of Eris. Thetis and Peleus, but you have not been invited. You are very angry. Oh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> what? Wow, we went off the rails. Okay. You are Eris. You decide to take it out on the gods, but when you attempt to kill Zeus, you accidentally kill his father, Kronos. Uh, wow. wow, we jumped the shark real quick. Okay, Zeus is very angry with you. You decide to attend the wedding anyway. It's time for the wedding. You go inside with the other gods. Thetis and Peleus come in, followed by the other goddesses and heroes of old. This is so funny because it's like almost correct, but not quite. I, I toss a golden apple into the center of the room with the words for the most beautiful written on it. What? Uh, ha! Huh. The gods and heroes pick up the apple and toss it back to you. You are very surprised when Aphrodite, the goddess of love, steps forward and gives you the apple huh okay eris has now been okay how are we gonna get to the <laughs> trojan war with this you are very surprised as your intention was to create chaos and drama among the gods you think to yourself what a a bit different than what i usually do am i the most beautiful beautiful wait Hold on. Hold on. You look at the apple closely. You see a golden apple with a glossy red apple core. I, I don't know how that's possible. You are about to bite into the apple and you remember your prom you, your promise to the gods not to eat anything until after the contest. You don't 
care what the gods think and bite into the apple anyway before tossing it back into the center of the room. Oh my god, what? <laughs> what? You feel your stomach growl and it feels like the hunger is roaring back up inside of you, so you quickly bite into the apple and swallow the core in one gulp? Um, okay. I leave to gather my thoughts. Um, oh, <laughs> you are Eris, the goddess of chaos, and you are hungry. Who knew co-writing things with an AI was going to be so <gasps> difficult? I begin to consume a lot of apples, and I toss their cores into the wedding party where I have carved to the most beautiful into it, hoping the goddesses Hera, Aphrodite, and Athena will fight. <laughs> this is a very unique version of that myth. Uh, Athena catches an apple in midair and devours it instantly. Um, Aphrodite Aphrodite begins to eat more, and Hera joins in. All three goddesses want to be the one who eats the most. This is like a group project. That's really what this reminds me of, of a group project in high school. So uh, my camera died, but I just have to finish this because... You know what? This is what the AI, this is the AI's gnosis, and I'm not gonna challenge it. You are Eris, the goddess of chaos. You are happy. You are full. You are the most beautiful. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Eris writing this? Did Eris possess this AI? So next up, I am going to do, this was submitted by someone on the Eros Alliance Discord server, shout out, and it is the story of Erisichthon, Erisichthon, Eris, Eris, it's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna mispronounce his name, I apologize. I'll tell you the real story and then we'll see if we can make it happen. He was a dude who wanted to cut down a grove of trees. He once wanted all the trees in the sacred grove of Demeter to be cut down. There was specifically one big oak that was representative of these prayers that Demeter had granted and these votive offerings, and people refused to cut it down. So he grabbed an axe and cut it down himself, and he killed a dryad in the process. Then the nymph cursed him. In response to the curse, Demeter punished him by making him have insatiable hunger, and eventually he ate himself. wanted a grove of trees sacred to Demeter cut down. Okay, we're just gonna start simple. Huh? Uh, okay, okay. Eris Sikthon wanted to plant pomegranates, so it's interesting it's pulling from Demeter, pomegranates. Instead, crop failed, villagers starved, and they refused to cut down the old oak tree that held offerings from the villagers to Demeter. This could be easy to guide it along, but I want to see what it does instead. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> uh, oh, okay. We went into the future somehow. In that story, I'm taking it back. I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce his name. Cut Oak Tree down himself, killing the dryad that lived within it. Oh, wow. Okay. The dryad was Demeter and Athens was her sacred grove. Oh, um, now it's a busy bustling city of millions and Demeter is nowhere to be found. Holy sh**. <gasps> this got <gasps> dark. The people kept searching for Demeter for she had issued a curse upon Erezulion. The curse? <laughs> well, the people of Athens started worshipping the Acropolis. So they started worshipping the Acropolis, not at the Acropolis, the Acropolis itself. The Athenians built a massive temple to Athena, the goddess of wisdom, on the highest part of the city. This is not... <laughs> oh my 
God. Though Rosan thought he had succeeded, he now had an insatiable hunger. He wanted to own the Acropolis. And to do so, he would have to destroy it? Demeter, he murmured. If it must be, then so be it. Um, what happens next? I don't know what happens next. He was so hungry, he could eat anything. I'm trying to bait it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. He grabbed a handful of the Athenians. In his hunger, he wanted only to eat. When he realized what he was doing, it was too late. He ate and ate until there was nothing to eat but himself. Oh, wow. Okay. Lots of things happened. And Aristotle was dead. The Athenians celebrated the death of the greedy king and the birth of their city. So, okay. The end. That's the end. So that's an interesting founding story to Athens that is not at all <laughs> the founding story of Athens. And now for something completely different. Yeah, we're going to try and get it to retell the story of the Minotaur. So we're going to be Minos. Okay, you are Minos, king of Crete and husband to Pasiphae. I'm going to start simple. I'm going to start simple. I want to know where it's going to take this. Pacify fell in love with a handsome bull and made it with- Wow, okay. <laughs> this is what I get for choosing a well-known story. The handsome bull and made it with it. Minos was the result. Wait, hold on. You were Minos, king of Crete. Pacify fell in love with a handsome bull and made it with it. Minos was the result. You realize that your wife has given birth to a monster and you are angry. Oh, oh, jeez. Uh, one problem with choosing Greek myths is that a lot of them are very, uh, violent, and I don't know how YouTube's gonna feel about that. You have to do something to stop your wife and her child. Okay, come on AI, I want to get the story rolling. You have two choices! Okay, so now it's becoming like a text-based game. You have two choices. You can attempt to kill the child. You are stronger than your mother, so you can do it easily. Whose mother? Am I Minos, son of Pasiphae, or am I Minos? You have the knife that the goddess gave you in your belt. What goddess? And the second choice is... <laughs> That's only one choice. You can attempt to save the child. This is where your cunning and intelligence would come in handy. You can use the confusion of the situation to escape with your child. Who am I? I look into a mirror and ask, who am I? I'm Pasiphae. I'm also her child. I'm also Minos, who may or may not be her child or her okay. husband. Pepe not the Sylvie, same this name keeps coming up over and over again every day. Pepe. The bull? What? <laughs> this is some sort of YA novel? What's happening now? And I remember that my name is dot dot dot. And I remember that my name is Sidney, you say. Yes, you are Sidney, the mirror says. Do you remember your dreams? You ask the mirror sometimes. Um, excuse me? I have no f idea where to go with this. And you remember that your father is give me a family tree i thought i was minos i was trying to just be minos king of crete Goron the <laughs> what in the case of sydney minos king of crete you are not <laughs> pasiphae knocks on the door and says I thought you were Minos, king of Crete. Sidney the Great. How could we forget Sidney the Great from mythology? Pacifae says, I have a gift for you. I open the door. Why are we still here? Oh my god. I'm not gonna read that out loud. You run towards her and say, what have you done? What is this child of ours? Is Pacifae- who the- just to suffer. 
How are you related to me? <laughs> what is happening? I gave birth to you, Pacifei says. I am your mother. You grab a sword from a soldier and attack Pacifei. You stab her in the chest. Okay, this is fine. Minos can be a girl named Sidney with green eyes and red hair and pouty lips. I want to see that fan art. This is getting too compli complicated for me, so I need you to shut up. I think it's confusing because there are multiple Minoses throughout history. Oh, Jesus! What? <laughs> you attempt to trap her Minotaur child. We gotta come up. This is a we get this. This is going on for too many seasons here, and we've jumped the shark like about four times. You know the child is still in her womb. You stab her through the chest again. No, the child cries. I want my mother. I thought the Minotaur was already freaking born. You cry because you are so confused. You thought the Minotaur was already born and you thought that you were Minos husband of Pasiphae and king of Crete not whatever strange persona you have become you cry because you are so confused now we can't go home you say you and your child Ride a white horse and fly back to Crete. We're already on Crete. This is too fucking confusing. I put myself in the labyrinth because I have gone mad attempting to keep track of this myth. Down to the very end. Finn, that's it. That's the end. Okay, folks, I think we're gonna call it there. We told three myths with varying degrees of success. Let me know what your favorite was, and let me know if you wanna see this again. This is very not my usual content, but it is a lot of fun. So, with that, I'm gonna leave you. I will see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.